last mod that we're going to do and this is the scary one for me is we are going to be cutting the fender uh, because now that there is no longer a light setup over here this is just a bunch of ugly holes and just you know it doesn't do what i want it you know it's it's just not good anymore so what i did was i went ahead and undid the bolts over here just to move that out of the way now there's two schools of thought on this uh, one is just pick a spot after the hole and cut straight across which i can't stand that i i i don't like the look of that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to recreate this profile here and we're going to transfer it here so that it um, leaves the mounting brackets for the support and that way it's just going to be support a very little bit of material um, this is where the curve is going to end and in order to recreate that what we're going to do is take a piece of paper and we're going to take that profile just like that i'm going to draw that out we'll cut it and transfer the line here let's see if i can do this while filming Okay, so I'm going to cut this along the lines and then transfer the mark. So when we go ahead and transfer these lines, I will admit that it is not a perfect um, match because of the, the difference in, you know, the, the thickness over here. So when I get to about this point, I am going to mark around here and then here and try to uh, eyeball it as best as I can so that it is a nice line. Uh, same thing over here. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, either way, I'm gonna cut loosely around here and then grind it into to the final line so that we can clean it up as need be. And, Again, a big part of that is just going to be hoping that I don't royally screw something up. So, mark there, and put down some pressure so I know where I'm going. I will be among the many to admit that freehanding is not my strong suit, but when it comes time to sand it all down, I do have a pretty decent eye for you know making sure that things are kind of getting even so here I can already tell that I'm gonna have to even just bring this down a bit so again I can always dial it in as I'm grinding it away. I just can't add material, so it'll be important to to kind of just make sure that I'm coming off the line there and trying to make this you know something that I can correct 
on the fly. So let me go get my grinder. Whoo. All right. So just to make sure that I could cut through, you know, I just chopped off the back. Um, I wish I had a steadier hand, to be honest, but <clears throat> we'll see how this goes. it over here but uh, that will get covered up and along with the sanding I'll be able to touch that up when I repaint it uh, although I will when grinding uh, not film it just so I can take a better uh, care and control so I'll see you when it's finished all right so um, just finished the initial cut and partial grinding and I'm at a point where um, I still got some more work to do uh, I can see where you know I'm gonna have to fill in sand over here to, to clean that up but because of that little channel that was in there to deal with the the cables I'm either going to have to cut this whole piece out um, which is one option or I could use a body filler in order to, to fill this in and smooth it out. Um, I'm not sure which one I want to go, um, especially because I am not sure if, it, if I'm going to be required to have a reflector. If I am going to be required to have a reflector, what I'll most likely do is unbolt this and bend it so that this reflector would be, you know, just kind of coming out a bit over here. So that's a decision I'm going to have to make in the near future. Uh, and then dependent on how, you know, close this is after it's actually tightened in, uh, I may have to grind this part down here a little bit. Uh, but, uh, in the end, uh, there's no going back from there. All right. So <sighs> that was scary. All right. After cutting and grinding and painting, I've now gotten the rear fender set up so that it does have a reflector if that's required by uh, law for inspection. Uh, <clears throat> As you can see down here, I did not do the greatest job at, uh, I don't know, I guess dealing with the aftermath of the cut. Um, that support bracket was, I mean, it was just in the way. And so I did what I could to, to grind it down. And uh, that's actually quite a bit of Bondo in there to, to fill it out and try to give it a little bit of strength and make it smooth again. Uh, but now that that's done, I can go ahead and put this back on. Um, right here, you can see this bracket right here is going to be where the uh, chain guard goes back. This will get bolted to um, 
the swing arm or the you know the upper part of the frame and this is on the other side this one's going to be a little tricky to get to because um, the bolt is kind of long and because of my swing arm bag uh, there's not going to be a lot of room to get to it but I'll show you how that all pans out when I start putting it back together okay this is what I was talking about here as far as the um, how long this bolt is sorry um, this actually goes quite a bit out all the way over here so it uh, took some finagling and unfortunately I got some scuffing there so uh, at some point in time in the process I'm gonna have to clean that up uh, but uh, turns into one of those omelet and egg situations so we'll see how it cleans up okay I tried filming it I really did uh, putting on the the um, fender and the wheel it was it was just hard for me uh, I was having trouble uh, trying to get the the caliper back on because every time I would do that something else would fall off and quite frankly uh, one person with a bad back trying to manhandle this wheel into position in order to uh, get the axle back through it was pain in the ass but it's on and it's about six inches off the fender and looking mighty nice there's the bag that I put on it and the new side cover well redone side covers the new lights and all the nice brass and black and I am waiting for the snow to go away so I can go out and play um, so yeah that was uh, that was my winter project and good luck to everybody out there who is doing something similar and I wish you the best of luck with your projects just uh, stay safe when the when the sun comes out. Have fun, guys.